Welcome to Poly ANZ Stories. Together, we're going to learn more about modern workplace technology and innovation from experts and thought leaders right here in Sydney, Australia. Today, it's all about understanding the new normal and uncovering some top tips for transitioning back into the workplace. Yeah, the most important thing is that you get a quality experience in the meeting room. So if you have some of the team who are in the room and some of the team who are at home or on the go, everybody needs to be included. Everybody needs to be able to see one another, to have a voice in that conversation. Yeah. So critical to have video in the meeting room and high quality audio. Mm. So the whole idea is just creating that environment which transfers from home, office, person, face-to-face, -face, video. Exactly, yeah. So it, it shouldn't matter where you are. You should still be able to have that great teamwork experience. And the thing here is that if you can't replicate that same experience in the hybrid workplace that you had when everyone was together, then that has a big impact on, on the success of the business. Mm. You've got a situation where the agility of a business, the creativity of business is coming from people. And if people can't collaborate together, if they don't have a voice, they can't make a contribution, then you lose that. And that's a big challenge. And what do you think we can actually do to overcome that? Well, the, this is where getting the device piece right is absolutely critical. You need to have the right uh, technology in the meeting room so that the people in the room are visible to the people who are remote and everyone can hear each other and everyone gets to have a voice in that conversation. So devices like Polly's Microsoft Teams Room device bring that to life. It's got the great video, the great audio, and also one touch join to the meeting. So you get that frictionless ex meeting experience. In 2020, obviously we've seen so much change and one of the big things now is actually transitioning back to the office. Yeah. What would you say are some of your top tips? Things are different. So we ask the, our customers to think about the personal experience, so the people that have been involved in the transition or are being involved in the transition, ask them for their feedback. What are they thinking? How did they work remotely? What, what things that they're actually looking to bring back into the office? And some of the technology adoption differences that they've seen, the work is not um, a place to go, it's actually what you do. So measuring output rather than input, changing some work practices that way. Mm. Technology is a big part of that will follow being able to enable what you do with that feedback. So helping your employees use the technology to get their, the best out of them, whether it be audio experience, whether it be video experience, and the quality of product and the technology built into it is actually a big part of the experience you get. And a good example of that is technology that you've probably been used to in the office, where you've got noise blocking, noise cancelling, some great uh, artificial intelligent uh, blocking of, of noise around you to help you with your experience but also your customers experience listening to you in a conversation because that's it you just you want to still be able to put, get the same output have the same connection with your staff but from home that's or the right. hybrid model well whether you're communicating one-to-one -one like we are whether you're communicating one-to-many like a normal broadcast kind of communication or many-to-many -many, you've still got to allow that to happen and so Polly's job is to make sure that can be as effective, whether it's audio, video, um, whether it's remote or face-to-face. Or -face. We need to make sure businesses can collaborate well. Mm. Well, it's safe to say with a focus on communication, technology and innovation, we really can thrive in this brave new world of business.